I do show, so it's um, Valentine uh, Valentine Day coming up. So I'm thinking of doing something that we can um, you can use to go have a new outfit for your Valentine Day. I'm just gonna put in the glue gun, so it's getting warm. And um, if you like, you can also put comment on the uh, on my page on the video, and I will answer them for you. So tonight I'm doing a wine tasting from Spain. It's a red bottle and it is $9.95. So I'm just gonna open it up and let it free a little bit uh, longer. So I have an old t-shirt, as you can see. So I'm gonna make a dress out of this and um, we're gonna see how that looks. I kind of have an idea of what I want, but I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. So it's just a simple long sleeve t-shirt and you can just find something that you have in your closet. It's like, a it little bit form fitted this tonight compared to uh, the loose fitted that we um, have for the past show. Now, if you want, I'm just gonna click onto my live video. So we have a few people streaming. So if you want to leave me a message, I can actually see them and I will answer them uh, live for you as well. So while this we waiting, I'm gonna just pour a glass of wine and let it breathe a little bit. So with the red wine, you want to have it uh, breathe a little bit before we drink it so the aroma can be taste and settle down. And it seems like a really beautiful dark burgundy wine. So it actually is smells very nice. So let's just let it rest a little bit. So what you need for tonight is I have um, about half a meter of the same color of a t-shirt and I'm just picking out cotton uh, fabric. It's easy to use and well, this is what I have at home. The other thing I have is um, also gonna do some, um, so I cut about three inches um, fabric and I just fold it in half. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this after. And some safety pin. So you don't, we're not going to sew anything tonight, but uh, we're going to use safety pin, some glue gun, and some fabric to make it a, a dress. All right. So if you haven't seen my show before, so my name is Adam and every Friday night I'm doing a live piece and we, um, while well, I'm tasting a bottle of wine that ten dollar, uh, and basically tell you about the wine, and because a lot of the times a good uh, wine doesn't necessarily about the price, and I find that um, over the six seven week that we uh, I'm doing this, a lot of people have come up to me and tell me some of the wine bottle, and uh, I have people on Instagram. Uh, tell me uh, some of the good wine. So I'm gonna see if I can bring that in and tell you guys as well So So we're just gonna smell the wine first mm. so I like a sweet wine, so I think this is um, Have a sweet it doesn't have an, an aftertaste it's light But the first contact with the wine is actually very Aromatic. Let it settle down a little bit so I can do the taste. All right. So what I'm thinking is, I'm just gonna. So the waist is here. So this is your butt uh, area. And all I'm thinking is, so I'm just gonna take a piece of fabric, about a little bit, about half a meter or so. So that would mean this would go all the way down to your knee or a little bit lower. And I'm just gonna grab it around here. Just gonna take this sleeve up so it give us some room to walk. Work. So as you see, I want to do a more of a form fitted style. So something like this. Okay, so we're just gonna use safety pin for it afterward. But before we do all this, I want it to have a nice edge to it. So I'm just gonna take the fabric that I have cut and then just 
kind of fold it in half. So this is about an inch, an inch and a half. It depends on how thick you want. So I figure I'm just gonna do about an inch. So I'm just gonna basically put it along the edge of the top part where the waist is. So I'm just gonna glue this down. So I'm gonna do this on here to make it a little bit easier. And it actually it would be much easier for you to do than this on the floor. So since I'm li in my living room and there's not a lot of room. And by the way, so every time I have a drink, you should be drinking something. So go get yourself something to drink. So it look it quite nice and sweet. It went down really smoothly. And I can tell they're pretty much about, I think they're a good, um, about eight to 10, maybe uh, sugar contents in here for, uh, well, a little bit extra. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna glue the center down. And this haven't quite warmed up yet, that's fine. So I'm just gonna go down a little bit on both sides and then I'm just gonna line this edge to edge right on the, the edge and I'm just gonna fold this over Ooh, that hot so as you can see fold it over and then we're just gonna continue on doing that and if you haven't uh, turned in before so this is the eighth show. So after this, I um, I usually put everything, um, the show up on YouTube. So usually the sh the video it will release on my website by Wednesday. Uh, and so if you want to do whatever that we did on the show for yourself, and you wasn't re didn't remember or you just wanted to watch again or find out about more information about the wine then you can go on my website and uh, see the result. And for the third week on the road, we got over 5,000 people watched live. So right now we have uh, a lot of people watching, so thank you very much. I couldn't believe it. It started with 200 people and after five weeks, or three, four weeks, and we get 5,000 5, people and I think Facebook just stopped um, counting after the five. And um, there is this also live on Twitch as well. So if you want to leave me a comment on there, and I would um, try to save it. This is the first time I broadcast through that channel as well. So this one I've been told is uh, it's from Spain. It's lightweight, so it actually would go good with some meat. Uh, uh, something more heavier for dinner. It also it doesn't have a um, heavy aftertaste to it, so I figure that um, we can. So let's continue here while I talk and do this at the same time. So sometimes multitasking is a little bit of an issue when you try not to burn yourself with the glue gun. I mean. And I'm just gonna line this with the edge to the edge and then I glue this in. So what I'm doing exactly, if you can tell from the dark uh, fabric, is just basically I'm just putting the edge of the fabric with the center line of the white fabric. So we just doing a little uh, skirt detail, right? And let's finish this up. So line this along the edge. And please do leave me a comment on Facebook right now if you want and just ask me the, about the detail or how to make certain thing. Um, and if you want to give me some suggestion of what to make uh, in terms of clothing, I will be happy to see if I can uh, come up with something fun for you as well. Okay.
So we almost there. Hey Mary. So Mary asked what I'm making. So today I just took an old um, black shirt, a uh, t-shirt, long sleeve and make it into a dress. So uh, get ready for your Valentine uh, dinner or you can have a single party for Valentine, which a lot of us do that as well. And I see Michael. And so this is almost finished. I'm just gonna tape all this all the way up here. And then just glue it down. Make sure you got it on both sides and then I'm just gonna fold the fabric down. And most of the time, I don't really know what I'm making until pretty much a few hours before the show. So, I just thought of this a few hours ago to make this thing. So, as you can see, I did the edge, right? So for now, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna wrap this around, one down, and make it into a nice detailed dress. So you notice they're a little open on the back and I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna use a safety pin So I'm gonna use the big safety pin. And so I'm just gonna go down on the princess line here and then just pin it down. So pin it all the way and I'm also including the shirt in there. So you basically pin in three different layers up. And we can use the safety pin as a detail as well. So as you know, when you do that, we have a little losing space in the back, right? So cheer. I'm continue drinking. Hi Paul, how Florida? Mm. Actually, I really like this wine and it's much better than the dry wine that we had last week. So I'm gonna use the safety pin, um, which I have in different sizes. Um, yeah. So, and I'm gonna use that as a detail for the dress. So I'm gonna pin this down onto the skirt. So what you can do is you can make a pleat. You see that? So a pleat basically we just take divide this space evenly on both sides and you're just gonna pin this down. And then you have a tighter skirt. And to do that I'm just gonna turn the waist on the inside and then I'm just gonna pin it up completely along the shirt as well. So we're gonna do a vertical point and we're gonna add a few more into a nice little detail okay so to do that I'm just gonna go under here and I'm gonna take the shirt with it lift it a little bit higher and I'm just gonna pin the whole thing down so here and then tie it up on the waist on the other side and then in 
and we got a skirt. And because we're not sewing with anything, we're just gonna use safety pin as a markup for the. So we're gonna use as a uh, is an accessory on the skirt. So we're gonna pin along all this here. So make sure you line up the safety pin right along the edge of the fabric. And what I'm thinking is I'm just going to space it out about an inch, in and a half. Pin it down. Turn the pin to, into the center of the seam. So the, the center of the back, right? And we have one more in the center. There you go. So we have a nice center safety pin has a detail. And then we're gonna turn this around. So we got a nice skirt here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue with the uh, the safety pin. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you pin down the in the inner skirt. So the bottom here it go all the way here. So what we can do is we have two choices. I don't want it to make it too tight just in case you need flexibility and more room on your waist and hip. And I need a drink. Are you dr drinking? Yeah. Then more common. Hi Kelly, how you doing? Mm, I really like the wine. So now, what I'm gonna do is, you can see here, I'm just gonna fold this into that, and then you're gonna pin the whole thing down. So to do that, we're gonna use a smaller side pin. And as long as I'm able to undo this, there you go. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the first fold. So, fold it side. Make sure everything flat. And we pin this down. So, the whole thing. So, I would figure it's about an inch, an inch and a half again. Pin down so the whole thing doesn't move, and this allows you to walk without worry that the skirt open up. And well, voila, we don't want that, <laughs> right? So we're gonna pin the whole thing down and do this again, one more fold, and yeah, maybe we do like so. So we're gonna do yeah, just one more. I think that would be enough. and pin it so you have to choose whatever end you want to pin so make sure you do it on so it look consistent and we're losing the height of the mannequin I think so we're gonna press this up so you see this and we're gonna do all the way down Pin this down here. So as I mentioned earlier, we're doing about an inch and in a half. About an inch, an inch and a half, it depends on how much you want to do the detail. You can also do it a little bit tighter, so maybe half an inch. But um, for time's sake, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna do about every inch and a half all the way to the end of the fabric. So 
So this way is holding everything down. We just gonna do one more. All the way at the edge. And voila. So we have a dress. Simple enough. With a pin on the side. With a nice detail. And if we want we can add a little bit more detail on the edge. So before I do that, I'm going to have a drink. Hi, Yoko. So as you can see, it's a very simple idea. All you need is just a piece of fabric. And you can pretty much pick up that piece of fabric anywhere. All right, so to make sure the top and the skirt stay together, we want to actually Add a few more pin along the edge, right? Mm. Now, like, I drink about a bottle of it. No, <laughs> a glass of the wine. It actually, it's quite delightful. It's um, it's actually a nice wine. It doesn't leave a heavy taste after, which I like. So this can also t um be a good um before dinner wine. But the aroma of it is quite strong in the beginning. So it's, um, I would serve a lighter wine before this. And it actually, yeah. So if you have um, some um, dry ham wrapped around uh, watermelon uh, or um, melon with uh, this wine, it actually be very delicious for entree. Mm. And of course, we need to refill. Cheer. All right, so I'm going to continue, make sure. I'm going to do about every two inches around the waist. And then, of course, if we want more, we can also add more later on. But for now, we just Gonna do this so it stay together. And you want to make sure you have this shirt pinned right in. And if you don't like this, do it. And then you can also take the fabric off and then you don't you can have your t-shirt back, right? So the whole idea is, for me to create the show is, I think we, we need to buy a lot of clothing, but we don't do a lot of upcycle, and it uh, do a lot of damaging for the environment. So this way, we can just do something fun. And this is what I used to do when I was in school. Um, just before I, I need to go out, and I needed a new outfit, I, just decided I would just make one. way down so yeah so we're talking to my friend this morning and then I remember I used to make an outfit out safety pin I said oh maybe I do that so this is what we're doing huh. and it's falling over the place all the way down so I'm including the t-shirt into the the skirt so the two stay together. And it's have a nice sophisticated look to it, I think. And so what wine are you guys drinking lately? So leave me a message if you can. We 
we'll do a few more here. And this is a lot of work, so cheer. It's quite cold today outside. It's been quite a bizarre weather in Toronto. We have, um, it's minus 10. And yesterday or day before, it was a plus something. Plus two or three or five. So you just can't tell anymore. And I think it's it. There you go. So you can have the safety pin. If you don't want to do the safety pin, you can actually sew this on the edge or you just glue gun it. So we have a simple, easy skirt that you can do. Oh, maybe in 10, 15 minutes. So there you go. So should we do something else? Hi, Christina. Oh, we have somebody from New York. Hi, Clarence. Mm. So what do you think? So just took a simple dress, a black top, and if you want, we can do a little bit of a detail. So I have, I just ripped up about an inch wide fabric, and we could just do the detail from here all the way down. One, or. But instead of doing that, I figure we're just gonna do a nice sleeve on the top here. And just so you can just do a knot here and make it into a nice little coupling. Of course, you can also pin it down. So we're just gonna tuck this up because this is about how much we need. Mm. We're gonna cut this up in half. So this is the leftover from the waist of the skirt that I have earlier. And I'm just gonna so we can punch hole and then to woven in between. And this is a little bit easier if we do on the let it flat. So I'm not gonna attempt it, but I'm gonna just show you what it looked like when it's done. So you can have a little bit of a sophisticated dress and just tie it into a ribbon. Voila. So we have a nice dress. So that's it. It's quite simple in it. <laughs> All right. So, I'm gonna review the wine. In this dress, it takes very fast, doesn't take a lot of time to do. So, are we ready? So this wine is called Besso de Vino. It's a selection of uh, 2014. And it's a red wine, and it's a product of Spain. And I will do a tasting note for you. All right, so the tasting note for the wine is, the price for it is $9.95. Cheers. So the wine is $9.95 from the LCBO. I will put all this up on uh, my website uh, by Wednesday.
Alright, so the tasting note is a deep purple color. Um, yeah, it's quite deep. So if you scroll it and you look into the light, um, at this point I don't really see my future in here. I just seen like a really good wine. Alright, and moderate aroma plum. I definitely taste the plum in here. Spice. Uh, liquor rice. I have no idea what that is. And blackberry. Again, I have. I never taste berry in wine. Uh, I have some people told me there's some wine that you can taste them, but I haven't tasted the berry. Um, and the side note, I eat a lot of fruit. So for me to taste a certain fruit, I really. I guess it had to be real flavor instead of. A, I don't know. Whatever. And anyway, side point. Um, it say dry, medium body with flavor of dark berry fruit, plum spice, medium, medium finish, short term aging potential. Oh, so I guess you can. So for servant suggestion, beef stew, real sausage, lamb, and burger. So. As I say, it would go uh, very good with meat. And the sugar, <coughs> oh, excuse me. The sugar content is much lower than I thought. It only six gram for one liter, so which is quite low. And it's a plant, uh, plant wine. Um, let me see what is uh, the plant of this wine. Anthony Debeau kisses this wine and he fell in love. Now he run around the world and offered this wine to you. I don't know who Anthony is, but like, okay, if he can kiss the bowl, it's kind of smelly. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Um. This doesn't tell me what type of. Uh, Vino it is. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed the show. It's a little bit quick and fast, but um, since we're done the dress, I'm gonna finish the wine. And you're on your own. If you have any question or comment, let me a message, and we uh, I try to answer them if I can. If not, well. Thank you. Thank you.